Hello, Internet. I am Dylan. This... Resurrected. So the the resurrected. Um, he. So okay. This is our new studio space where we are filming EGT, our new news show. That is a mouthful. Uh, one quick thing before we start the news. If you've seen Quinn from Quinn's Room Gaming, he's on this channel. He's he's got a band camp. You should maybe go follow everything. I don't know. No. Uh, maybe we we haven't seen him in a while. Last we heard, he was off doing coke and fucking hookers. We don't really know. Sounds like a good time. Sounded like a rumor. But uh, anyway, I guess if you hear anything, just like tweet me. Don't at me though. So the news today we are going to be covering indie games. The, Call, Call of Duty World War Two. Sure. Uh, stuff that's coming out soon. Could be a fun time. There, um, there might be some rumors. Mm. Do you want to say anything? No. I can't work with these people. Alright, so the first story that we have for EGT is going to be Uncharted The Lost Legacy. This is a PS4 exclusive. Uh, for those of you who have played and enjoyed, or not so much enjoyed, the Uncharted series featuring Nathan Drake is he's pro uh, he's the uh, main protagonist. But um, in this one, there's going to be a little bit of a twist. You're going to be playing as Chloe, who is introduced in Uncharted 2: Among Thieves. Uh, the story will actually take place uh, in India, and it and it follows the Uncharted 4 gameplay. Um, the graphics I hear are pretty excellent for what it is. Um, they're trying some new game mechanics. I uh, haven't really heard much about that, but you know, as this, as the game comes closer to uh, release date, I'm sure that uh, we'll find some more out. And uh, it releases on August 22nd. That is Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. The next story we have for you is Guardians of the Galaxy, a Telltale series. The first episode for Xbox, PC, and PlayStation 4, I believe, was, re was released on April 18th, 2017. Uh, basically, the game is a what if you killed the ultimate villain badass known as Thanos in the Marvel Universe. Uh, at the first, in the first episode, like it's, it's crazy, it's nuts, gotta, gotta check it out. Uh, Major nerdgasm, uh, because obviously until the Avengers comes out, we're not gonna know how that how that really uh, how that goes. But um, the gameplay is pretty much what you'd expect from a Telltale game: point, click, a few occasional buttons here and there. Um, but pretty much the only new feature that they've added is the flying mechanic, which is pretty cool because your main protagonist, basically your playable character, is Star Lord. So, of course, he has those rocket boots. Pretty, pretty okay stuff. But, uh, yeah. Should be good. Now, on to Dylan's shit. Welcome to Indie Showcase, where we showcase off all the latest in indie news. I've always wanted to know about my family history, but not quite like Edith Finch does. Join her as she goes through the records of her family history as far back as the early 1900s. Will she find out what curse befell her family? Find out now in What Remains of Edith Finch out on PS4 and PC. As a kid, I was afraid of the dark, like most kids. Compares nothing to the fears of the Maw. Help Six escape the Maw and its denizens while confronting your childhood fears in Little Nightmares. This last one is a personal favorite of mine. Test Bed Terror is slowly inching toward its release, and I think we should give Cynical Cheddar, its developer, some love. Link down below is my playthrough of Test Bed Terror so that you can see it, and Cynical Cheddar's Test Bed Terror playlist, or just the channel. And you can go show him some love. Now back to the Resurrected with another indie game that's in the news. Hey, 
what's up guys, I'm back. So, the next story that we're going to cover is Outlast 2. This is an awesome game, I, I think. Uh, the main protagonist, or the player that you get to control, is Blake Langerman. It's a weird name. Um, basically, in the story, you and your wife go to try to uncover the truth about this missing girl who is, I believe, pregnant. Um, but not a lot about that right now. Uh, your wife's name is Lynn Langerman, and she has a little bit of, uh, of trouble whenever your plane crashes at the beginning of the game and you stumble upon this magical forest. Just joking. It's a village full of crazy people that want to kill you. Uh, these guys believe that the baby that Lynn Langerman is pregnant with, spoiler, is the Antichrist. So they try to do everything in their power to prevent that and kill you in the process as you try to save your loving wife. This game released on April 25th of 2017. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty much the same as Outlast 1, but um, there's actually a really cool uh, feature in the game where you can put together a coherent story with the videos that you capture, which is pretty awesome and, um, you know, you have a lot of fun doing it. And, you know, it's just... Breaking news! Outlast has lifted the Persona 5 ban, which is what I want to say, but it's not true. What they really did is they lifted the ban from the in-game date of 7-7 to 11-9, which is still really good because that's where the final act gears up. They also, they also limited it from 90 minute streams to as long as you want. Not that I ever saw anybody doing that anyway. In other words, the Super Skyrim Brothers mod is coming to Skyrim Special Edition because apparently some people still play Skyrim. Night Trap is coming to PS4. I've never played Night Trap, but I know it involves ninjas killing the teenage killing teenage girls with those grabby things your grandpa uses to pick up things off the floor. Kanye West is making a video game. I hear Kanye shows up to interrupt the credits. Kanye had the following to say about the game. I worked on a video game I wanted to show you all. The idea of the game is my mom traveling through the gates of heaven. An interesting concept, but coming from this guy, I expect a lot more fuckery. He seems to be proud of it, and he should take pride in your work. It would seem, however, that this implies that Kanye is Christian. But he believes himself to be a god, then that implies poly polytheism. Whatever. So this is the new Call of Duty game coming out, and you give this shit. I'm done with this segment. I said I'm done. Get that fucking camera out of my face. Yeah, that's uh, that's spit on my floor. Uh, okay. Well, um, back in the uh, the mid, uh, back in the mid mid two thousands, I spent a lot of time playing World War Two FPSs. Uh, that, then I heard Activision was making a new Call of Duty, so I was like, I'll do a fucking story on it. Apparently, some people do one, but if you have to do it, so I don't know if you have to do it. It's not the people who made this game. They made uh, such a great, as, uh, you know, Modern Warfare 3, everyone's favorite game. And Advanced Warfare. And FF Warfare. So, we got that to look forward to. Uh, the 90 minute-ish, 60 minutes? It was somewhere between 60 and 90 minute live stream where they revealed the game. Told us basically nothing. There's going to be a cool headquarters hangout where all the people can hang out and talk about whose mom they're having sex with tonight. There's also, uh, you know, new Nazi zombies, which is to say actual Nazi zombies. Which is to say, n nothing to do with the current na Nazi zombies. Uh, they're just Nazis, they're zombies. It's the Third Reich's last attempt to win the Great World War. That's not what they called it, that was World War I. Fuck it. Scratch that, just ignore it. Uh, fuck. God damn it. Uh, well, anyway, I'm excited to see where this goes with E3 and, uh, you know, let's go to rumors or something.
In addition to the World War II news, Black Ops 3 is rumored to have a new Zombies DLC, Zombies Chronicles. It's going to be great. Eight remastered maps from Black Ops 1 and 2. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, they're going to be including gobble gums. Not sure how many people feel about that. I, for one, I like the... I like some of the uh, gobble gums. They're pretty good. So, um, I guess it really just depends on what you look for in a zombies map or zombie story, whichever one you prefer. They might have some new Easter eggs in it. Who knows? Only time will tell towards the release, but then again, that's just a rumor. While we're on the subject of horror, how about we discuss Venom 2? I'm hearing a lot of good things about that. Rumor has it that it's going to be a rated R film. I, for one, love Venom. Personal fan, best Spider-Man villain ever. Um, at least to me. But uh, yeah, that's going to be rated R apparently, and it's going to be a horror film. I'm not sure what they're probably going to do with it, um, but they might have a pretty good twist on the Marvel Cinematic Universe whenever they encounter Venom for the first time being a bloodthirsty monster like he was depicted in the comics. And on a totally unrelated note, uh, another rumor floating around is Bully 2. I know we've been hearing this a lot, but I guess currently we are getting some news that Bully 2 will probably be announced after Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm kind of excited because I really love the first one. I really love the gameplay and I really love the story of being a troubled teenage kid going around the neighborhood as well as the high school fucking with people's lives. It was fun. It was funny, and it was it, it was it was a good time. It was a good time spent on that game. So Bully 2, I'm excited for it. How are you guys feeling about it? Now those are the rumors that we have speculating around here. I'm gonna throw it to Dylan for coming soon. Welcome to coming soon, where I tell you everything that is coming soon. Now the first thing is not coming super soon. You have to wait till about September, the end of September, September 22nd to be exact. It's Kingsman the Golden Circle. Now if you haven't seen the first movie, just go watch it. Bring it from Redbox. Buy it from Walmart. Find a blockbuster. Pirate it. Steal it from your friend. Watch the damn movie. It's the best movie I've ever seen. I've linked the trailer down below and it is going to be one of, oh man, you just got to check it out. I can't, I'm not going to go into detail. There's a lot of things in that trailer that are just mind blowing. Check it out on your own. Fucking great. Now, speaking of things that are going to be great, pray, pray. I thought to say pray too. It used to be pray too. Now, if you ever wanted to fight against alien forces, I got you and pray. Uh, it's not it's not some sort of Christian simulator. You fight aliens using alien powers. It really gives me a Bioshock feel. And if you like Bioshock, I'm going to guarantee you like this game. GameStop will honor it. Money back guarantee. Now, don't know about I don't know about what games you guys like playing. But if you like yourself some fighting games, oh boy. Oh boy. May 16th Gonna go find yourself at a GameStop or Walmart, wherever you buy your games. And what you're gonna find, you're gonna find yourself some Injustice 2. We're gonna join Batman back up where he left off in the last game, kind of. He's trying to rebuild society, but someone might come up and fuck it up. Who knows? That would really be a shame. <laughs> that would really be a shame, wouldn't it? Now, the last two games were a little bit dark. We got Batman rebuilding society after superhumans destroyed it. We got aliens that are trying to take over your spaceship. Uh, let's just make it a little bit more fun for the kids. Mario Kart 8. Yeah, deluxe edition. Not the original. That wouldn't be news. Not coming out soon. <laughs> That's why it came out, came out a while back. You might be living under a rock. Now, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has all the DLCs, including a revamped battle mode old favorite maps, I'm going to be enjoying the GameCube 
version of Luigi's Mansion, one of my favorite maps of all time. Now you can hold two items, just like in Double Dash, favorite Mario Kart game. Best one. Best game. New items, new carts, new everything. Pick it up today. Go, you can, you could be watching this video at GameStop right now. Go pick it up right now. It's out. What are you doing? Go to GameStop. Oh, you don't have a Switch. I get it. They're sold out. It sucks. And it's fine. It's fine. Not everyone can pre-order it. But, uh, you can get yourself something cool. Jonathan Colton making such great songs as Still Alive, Are Your Brains, the other one from that other Portal game. He released a new album today called Solid State. Now you can listen to it for free right now. Pretty good. Pretty good album. I recommend the vinyl version with the uh, graphic novel it comes with that uh, tells more about the story he's saying. Now, I'm not saying go spend like 150 bucks. I'm just saying go spend 150 bucks. This guy deserves it. Great musician. Made so many great songs. This album's great. Everything's great. And you can get that today. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna go play some Mario Kart 8 while listening to Solid State. Am I, am I seriously the only one here? Yes. Alright, great. Well, I guess I'll be leading this on this outro. Well, that was all for this week's video. Join us next week where we will arm wrestle a kangaroo.